In real estate wholesaling, exposure is everything. Stay tuned. Hey my friend, this is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. On this episode, we are going to be talking about the problems you will encounter in real estate wholesaling and uh, and how most of the problems you're going to be encountering in your wholesaling business is going to be countered by this one thing. I call it exposure. So I have a quote that I'm going to share with you that's coming out of my book. If you want the book, the link is on the screen, allatalks.com slash mastermind. That's where you go to download the book um, and take advantage of it. You will also be able to reserve a, a free masterclass. But anyway, yes, it's in the book, Ola Talks, O-L-A-T-U-X dot com slash mastermind. So I'm going to read that quote to you right here in a second. I also have a question that came in that I would like to address about this gentleman who has been essentially driving around town looking for deals, okay? Uh, when I started in uh, real estate wholesaling back in 04, 05, uh, 2004, 2005, it was essentially the same scenario. Um, they teach you to drive for dollars. They call it drive for dollars now. It wasn't called that back then. They call it bird dogging. You know, you look for houses with overgrown uh, weed, grasses, uh, houses that looks abandoned, houses with uh, that's boarded up. You write down the addresses. Back then, what I used to do is I would, write, I would walk around with a notepad, right? I mean, I was extremely passionate about building the business. So I walk around with a, a notepad like this one right here, and then uh, sorry about this, and uh, I will write down any addresses. Uh, more importantly, the reason why I did that back then was because I wanted to. It was a good way to familiarize myself with the neighborhood. So I, I, I would still, I can still encourage you to do it a couple of times, not because you're gonna find a deal. Okay, I'm gonna address that in a second. Not because you're gonna find a deal, but because. You're going to start noticing things that you didn't know was there before. Uh, I mean, you could have been living in your neighborhood for 15, 20, 35 years and not know certain things because you haven't been paying attention. But all of a sudden, you've gone through a seminar. You start paying attention if you notice. You start paying attention because what you focus on expands, right? You start paying attention to the houses, the different type of houses, Cape Cods, Colonials, right? You start paying attention to... Uh, the split levels, all these different type of houses, two family houses, whatever. You start paying attention because you've been exposed and you're now focusing on finding a deal. So I think it was a good experience personally. And uh, but the problem is that when you start driving for dollars, um, you you're not. It's good to start that way to familiarize yourself, but you're not operating at the level of a business owner. And that's what I want to share with you here today. So if you're going to do that, it's okay to drive around to see what's going on in the area. But uh, if you're going to be operating and generating leads and bringing in business, you need to think a little bit differently. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today once I uh, go through this question and this quote. So the quote from my book says, exposure is everything. Find a way to leverage the machines and tools that we have today for massive exposure and marketing. Some of those tools are actually available for free on the internet today. We can start with your favorite social media platform and it's many tools to share a message. Isn't it free? The internet is free, right? So what are you exposing? Your, your message which should contain the value and solution that your product and service brings to the marketplace. In your case, a real estate wholesaler, if you're consulting with a... Uh, with a with a motivator seller. The solution you're bringing to the table is to help them get rid of a property that has proven to be a liability or a headache in their life, right? On their financial books, right? That's what you are there for, right? That's what you're there for, to help them get rid of that. And that's the solution. You're solving a problem to get rid of these things out of their books, right? If you're not coming from that angle or if they don't feel like that's where you're coming from, um, chances are you're talking to the wrong person and you're just going to waste time. Specifically when we're talking about real estate wholesaling and putting a house under contract as a wholesaler, right? So, so 
So here says your message is what you're exposing, which should contain the value and solution that your product and services will enhance, uh, bring to the marketplace, right? In the real world, this will not just be a product, right? Or a service that you offer, that you offer, right? That you offer. So it's not just going to be a product or a service that you offer, okay? Let's see here. This will not be just a product and or the service that you offer. It will also include a verbally or written expressed form of how this product and services would enhance a prosperous life, okay? So your marketing pieces could be a letter, right? Uh, it could be a web page, right? And it's not as simple as saying this is what I do, right? You need to dig a little deeper. How is it going to enhance their life? What is it going to change in their life? What pleasure is it going to hack to their life? More importantly, what pain are they going to be avoiding when they decide to leverage the use of your products or your services, right? You need to expressly state these things out. Don't assume that people know these things, okay? I was just listening to a radio show a few days ago, and the, the radio host was saying one of the things they learn in radio business is that you don't assume that people know know or they've watched your video for example in this video today i've assumed that you know what real estate wholesaling is and that's a bad job for from my end standpoint the wholesaling is when you get into the marketplace for real estate and you buy low and you sell high okay you put a house under contract for low and you sell that equitable interest in that property without necessarily buying the house yet you put the house under contract for five fifty thousand dollars you turn around somebody's interested in the property for seventy thousand dollars and you say, yeah, I have a contract to buy for $50,000. I'm going to sell you the contract for $70,000. You give me 20, you give them their 50. Uh, win, win, win. You get the house that you want for 70, right? That's wholesaling, okay? In, uh, in, in a very simple way, right? But obviously, it's technicalities. How do you get somebody to give you a $70,000 house for $50,000? And the whole shenanigans. And that's what we're talking about here, right? So, when you are putting out marketing message for your wholesaling business, don't assume that people know what you're doing or what you are, what you do, right? Don't assume that everybody has seen your videos before. Restate it. Every letter you send out, make sure it expressly and in written form express how your product and your service, like you coming to help them sell the property, how is that going to enhance their life? But again, more importantly, what kind of pain are they going to be able to avoid, right? All right. So, so he says, I'll, the, the quote continues, how should you expose this message, right? How should you expose this message? Expose value first, okay? Again, what are you doing for them? You lead with the value that you're not what you're about to take from them, okay? You lead with the value you're offering them. Do it exactly like you would like you would when you fish with a bait, okay? So when you're fishing, you put a, a, a line, a hook, a bait, right? You put a bait on it in order you give that to the fish for us to attract them, okay? It's the same thing when you're prospecting, okay? When you're prospecting for the right people, you lead the value, right? What kind of information would your ideal prospect be interested in now before they decide to even do business with anybody. So we're not worried about them doing business with you first. That's what you're going to get out of it. You worry about what they're going to get out of it. What is it that they're, what questions are they asking right now? What problems are they looking for solution to, to, to solve right now, right? So, and that's where you always want to come from when it comes to building your business. If you want to do it effortlessly and you want it to be sustainable, you want to always lead with value, okay? You always lead with value, all right, so um, it will also include, yeah, okay, suppose value for do it exactly like you would when you fish with a bait, line and hook, lead with value. This is the fundamental basis of attraction marketing. So that's the quote. So the question that came in is, hey, hi, Ola. So I drove by my neighborhood and I was able to find five properties that looks abandoned. Yeah. And um, I did some research at my county website, but I can't find much. I went back to one of, the, one of them and I spoke to a neighbor. He promised to get some information for, 
from one of the children of the whole lady that passed away. Okay, so a whole lady owned this house and the old lady passed away and the house looks abandoned. And a neighbor is promising to get you information. And that's you running a business. That's not a good way to run a business. Again, because you're depending on people that are not necessarily reliable. They may be nice people, but they're not reliable to give you the information you need. Guess what's reliable today? The internet. Okay. So you did the first step, you went to the county website. Well, again, I don't know what kind of research you're doing at the county website. If you're looking at looking up the block or the lot number, I guess, but but if you're looking for information, for the contact information, uh, chances are you need to be looking somewhere else, okay? So, but from this standpoint already, you're chasing after houses and it doesn't sit well with the, the, um, the strategies that I teach here, okay? Because what I teach here is all about attraction marketing, okay? And you should only be focused, okay? You should focus all your energy, minimum. 99% of your energy, okay, should be focused on attracting people that have existing problems related to what you can help them solve, okay, the problems you can help them solve, existing problems that you can solve, they have questions that you can answer, okay, you need to find ways to target those people and attract them, how do you attract them, because you give them what they're asking for already, they're searching, boom, you show up, you show up with what they're already looking for, right, so he says, I went back to one of them and I spoke to a neighbor. He promised to get me some information from one of the children of the whole lady that passed away. It's been two weeks and I'm exhausted at just the part of trying to get a person to talk to. Exactly. Okay. This process is what I learned so far uh, in the part one of a real estate wholesaling seminar I just bought into. Yeah. So like I said earlier, they teach you this stuff. They say drive for dollars. Like even there's going to be that one out of, I don't know, 200 students of those seminars that we actually maybe get one deal, right? It's possible, right? But you're not, you don't expect the gurus, the people that's teaching you this to do it, right? They're not driving for dollars, right? They're attracting deals from you and about 100 other students, right? So they don't have to drive for dollars. But here's the thing I want to share with you. The secret I want to share with you is that you two can act like the guru, okay? You can act like the guru. You bring some value to the marketplace, of course, but the best value you can bring to the marketplace comes from experience. So people say, oh, I know this stuff. I talk this stuff all the time because I have experience because I know this game and I have experience. That's why I'm able to. So you definitely want to make sure you, you're doing what you're preaching, right? Um, you know, unlike the professors out here, right? But you get my point, okay? So, but here's the thing. When you start chasing after a house or you start chasing after one of the neighbors, or when you start chasing, it's, it's, it's going to create a bad, uh, it's going to create a bad rapport from your standpoint. You're going to have a bad posture when you're talking to people. You're chasing these deals. And worse, when you start talking to people, you chase after them to find their numbers to talk to them. That conversation is a whole lot different from when they actually pick up the phone and call you. Okay? So I always teach marketing and I teach marketing from a standpoint of you attracting. You send out pieces of information that can help somebody who is in pre-foreclosure, somebody who has inherited a house they don't like. You give them information on how to sell their house fast. If they're in pre-foreclosure, you give them information on how to avoid foreclosures, and you take them to even more information on your website, refer them back to your website, capture their information, and you may want to go through the, uh, the three C's of uh, real estate wholesaling you want to google that information it's called the three c's of real estate wholesaling all that talks i'll be talking search for that on google or or, or youtube and that video is a video you want to go through and learn how to capture contact information and capture your leads uh because these leads are going to be attracted to you when they get attracted to you you want to capture them so we go through a process called the ccc create capture and convert and that's something I covered in details in the three C's of real estate wholesaling by all our talks. I'll be talking, just search for that right there on, on Google or YouTube right here. And then you'll find that. Okay. So it's been two weeks and I, I'm exhausted. You're exhausted because again, you're chasing after people. You're supposed to be exhausted. But once you learn attraction marketing, you, s you send out pieces of marketing materials but with the right information on them because again, on that information, you need to learn the skills of using words to get people to take action, okay? It's called persuasion, right? You want to learn how to use words to get people to take the action you want them to take. And there's a particular heart, heart and science 
to that some of the stuff will cover heavily in details inside as well okay so this process is what i learned so far in part one of a real estate seminar so they teach this stuff to everybody else um but again it's a great way to get started get to know your neighborhood but you gotta advance to a different level entirely and the way i teach to do that is number one you send out letters to pre-foreclosures to a list of divorces to a list of expired listings you send out letters that expressly in written form tell people how your product your service what you offer will replace okay will remove uh, will help them avoid the pain of what is it that they are facing right now that means they must be facing a problem a challenge already right you need to express that you need to speak that it needs to be on your on your letter it needs to be on your website okay if you don't do that that means you're assuming that they're just gonna fall in love with replying or responding to your marketing pieces no you need to be persuasive and you need to learn how to use persuasive words to get people to take action the first the number one key emotion that you really want to tap into is fear because once people are in certain situation fear creeps in and they start taking over and you start making them do uh and the, the, the biggest of them is the fear of drowning in the pain that they're in so fear pain these are emotional triggers that you want to use to get people taking action and calling you back does that make sense all right so i'm thinking of getting my money back from the real estate wholesale seminar should i or is this going to get better please help it's going to get better okay i don't ever recommend that you get your money back when you buy a training course i believe that every single training course you ever buy on your journey to greatness is going to is going to have a a, a decent sizable return on investment so no don't get into the habit of returning and getting your money back okay that's not something that winners or success driven people do okay what i can tell you is that it's going to get better okay it's going to get better um the knowledge that you gain from that book i don't care if it's perfect or good or it doesn't matter okay you're going to try something maybe it will fail now you know what not to do again right but that's you just went a step ahead of uh, a step ahead a lot more further then people would did not read anything. We did not go through anything because of the fear of getting the wrong information, right? So again, fear is one of the number one key emotions that affect everything in life. And in your marketing pieces, use it because people do have fear, but you need to express it. You need to say it out in your marketing uh, direct mail pieces on your website because when you when somebody is open your letter, they need to be able to go to your website and pull up more information and choose to subscribe to you so they can get more information. If they can't do that, your response rate is gonna suck, okay? And how to do that is something we'll cover in details. Again, go to the link on the screen right here and then you have access to my books and everything, you'll be able to download that for free, all right? So, should you get your money back? No, okay? Is it gonna get better? It's gonna get better. Again, direct mail, uh, a website where you can capture information and by the way, you can start creating content, which is my, one of my favorite ways, okay? Creating content that actually solves these people's problems. And from that content, you do the three C's, which is capture, well, you're creating the content, capture and convert, okay? You follow the three C's protocol to get people, turning people into customers, okay? Turning people into clients, okay? And, and clients that can help you, okay? Obviously, by you helping them first. Okay, you got to lead with value. Does that make sense? So now the problem with all of that is that if you do that at mediocre level, you will run into trouble because the title of this video is about exposure. You need massive exposure, which is why one of my favorites is creating content. You create videos from time to time to time. Each one of those videos are going to create a massive exposure for what you have to offer the world, especially if they're optimized properly for the search engines because your clients, your prospects are going to be using the search engines to search for the right solution for their particular situation. The question is, that are they going to find you? Have you created content enough for them to find you when they're searching for those things? And this is what I teach, okay? So if you want to use direct mail, just make sure you have enough budget, okay, to keep doing it because consistency is key. And when you just get started, it may seem slow as hell that it won't respond. But it's even better when you do a hybrid of both direct mail and content creation and people can go from your, from your mail to a website and see more information and they don't have to feel obligated to call you right now. 
they're going to call you, okay? And your response rate is going to be better than everybody else because you're truly, truly, truly giving into the marketplace. So I always tell people, live with value but massive exposure. How do you put out massive exposure? By creating massively, okay? Always be creating. Forget always be closing. Conversion will happen, okay? If you are always creating value into the marketplace, people are going to feel obligated to do business with you and nobody else. Why? Because you help them first. Does that make sense? So that's, again, something I call in details. Go to the link, allatalks.com slash mastermind is where you want to go through. And then also make sure you click like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell right next to the subscribe button to make sure you're getting notifications. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Leave me your thoughts and your questions. If you have thoughts and questions around this topic, leave me your thoughts and your questions. I would love to hear your thoughts, okay? And uh, hopefully you've been enlightened and educated, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.